Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday. Um, Kendra and I just got back from running some errands. I finished filming a video earlier today when I got up. But right now, I'm packing. Well, I've started packing, like picking outfits. Obviously, by the title of this vlog, you already know we're packing for our birthday trip. But I am curious to know if any of you guys guess correctly. So guess in the comments where you think we're going for our birthday. So yeah, but I'm in the middle of packing. So the first thing that I like to do is go ahead and pick out my outfit so I don't underpack or overpack. So I basically look on my phone at like my itinerary that I already made, like reservation bookings what restaurants we're going to and like anything in between that we're doing um and what we're doing during the day because most of the time for a trip you usually need two outfits per day most of the time some days you don't but you need like a day outfit and then like a dinner outfit for the evening so i organized mine according to days so this is what i have packed so far well actually i think i'm done because i actually had to just put a few things back i was like Kelsey, this is too much stuff so you guys are already getting a sneak peek of some of the things that I'm packing. So these are the shoes I'm going to be taking. A lot of black, as you can see. So I'm going to be taking combat boots, some suede thigh highs, some leather pair of Texas boots. Um, these are my favorite black boots. They're so cute. I don't need these. I need to put these back. And then one plain pair of like clear peep toe pumps. And I'm only taking two bags. I'm just taking my envelope bag, this Fendi one, because um, it fits a lot of stuff in here, actually. And and then I'm just going to take my Jack Moose uh, Le Bambino Mini in this light gray color. It looks white on camera, but this is like a pale gray. And plus, I wanted to give myself some room in my luggage to shop. And then next, I like to pack my panties, bras, pajamas. Yes, we're gonna be going for like five days. So I like to take at least three to four pajamas. So yeah, how cute are these? I got these a while ago from Shein, but I don't recommend their pajamas to be completely honest. Then I'm gonna take these cute green ones. And then I'm just gonna be taking these camel skims ones. I also have these in gray, but they're in the dirty clothes right now from the last trip we went on, so. And I usually put my pajamas in my duffel bag. Oh, my Christmas pajamas. I wore these last year. Then also in here, I like to bring silk pillowcases because I cannot sleep on cotton. I have to keep in mind those things because I have acne prone skin. So keeping my skin nice and clear, I have to make sure I'm always sleeping on clean pillowcases. By the way, I did do a tutorial on this hair. Like if you guys are wondering like, oh my gosh, her hair is so defined, it's so shiny. I got you. I'm actually gonna be editing this video tomorrow. Okay, now I'm just briefly packing my makeup. I have like most of my travel makeup in here already, but sometimes I wanna like switch out like different blushes or eyeshadow palettes. So in here I already have like my powders. This is the only foundation I'm gonna take with me just because I already noticed my skin is changing since it's getting cooler outside. Like my skin feels drier, especially around like my mouth and my chin. This has been like one of my go-to foundations. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Um, and plus it's like really lightweight. It's not glass or anything. So I'm gonna take that foundation. I'm gonna take one of my favorite ColourPop quads um, cause it has like two of my favorite blush colors, a highlight and like a bronzer shade. Then I always have this in here. This is just my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. It's one of my favorites cause it's nice and matte. And this blush is also always in here. This is Raisin by MAC. And I have my Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in here because I use it to carve out my eyebrows. So I have that in here. This is always in here. The Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. Yeah. So it just has like nice warm tones in there. I'm going to take one of these Huda Beauty ones. Let's see. So I think I'm going to take this one because the tones in this are similar to that Naked Palette. And these are a little bit more cool tone. Milk Mascara. One of my favorites. Then I've been obsessed with this Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's amazing. The side here, I always have these, like this little side compartment. By the way, this makeup bag is so old. This is from Kylie Cosmetics like years ago, from like four years ago, I think. I always have a bunch of lip products, matte lips, lip liners, uh, eyeliners, liquid eyeliner, brow pencil, another liquid lip. Another mascara, another mascara, <laughs> brow gel, and then another lip liner. So I always have these in here. And then I always have these Morphe concealers in here. 
they're really nice but they're like super lightweight so they're great for like every day but they're not like super full coverage so they're you have to build them up they're like really thin i do like that though but sometimes for night i like a thicker concealer for a little more full coverage so i'm taking my fenty beauty concealer in the shade what is this 385 and i always have to have me like an extra clarence lip oil somewhere so i'm going to take this oh also i always have at least one primer because sometimes i might need to use a primer this is the smashbox photo finish smooth and blur primer if you remember i was using this back in the day when it was like clear packaging like early youtube days let me know because this is a throwback for real They've been selling this for the longest, but this is one of my favorite primers, even though I don't use primer that often anymore, because I find that if you have a good moisturizer as your base, you really don't need a primer. So now I just use it in the areas that I need, like T-zone. So yeah, anything with glass is gonna be like too heavy. Like I love this NARS Creamy Radiant, but it's too heavy. Like this is glass and it's gonna make my duffel more heavy, so. But I love this foundation. It's like one of my faves. I don't need any of my matte foundations because like I said, my skin has been very dry, but I'm obsessed with the NARS Soft Matte and the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. If you're oily, you're gonna love those. Also, I'm obsessed with my Makeup Forever HD. This is plastic though. Maybe I could take this. I think I'm gonna take one of these because I was gonna take this Dior one, but this is more of a summer foundation because it's like really, really watery, like really light. And this is not full coverage, by the way. This is like more of a tint, in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna take this, cause this is light, it's plastic. Yeah, I'll take one of these. Um, so yeah, I'm in the color Y508. And then I also go through my makeup brush bag and make sure all of my brushes are cleaned. Even though I also take like extra alcohol for to spray, um, to like just spot clean my brushes throughout the trip so all of these brushes are clean and then i like to have at least two beauty blenders so i have two beauty blenders and then i also bring some beauty blender solid to clean my uh, sponges and these double ended ones are always great that come with the anastasia palettes um, because it helps you pack one less brush so it's like two brushes makeup check by the way i'm drinking oh i spelled my name with an ie no offense if your name is Kelsey and it's spelled with I-E. But I just prefer how my name looks with E-Y. Uh, but this is a Ice Grande Pumpkin Cream Chai. They finally added it to the menu because people would go and ask for a chai with pumpkin cream cold foam. But they added it to the menu and it's called a Ice Pumpkin Cream Chai. It's so good. But I get uh, mine with oat milk. Now I'm just going to pack my like emergency bag and then skincare. So this is my big bag that I keep in my duffel. I know a lot of people pack with like those like cubes because I've seen those like organizing cube things on Amazon. But I've had this system for so many years. It just works better for me. I like having different things in different bags um, because I know exactly what's in them. Yeah, and here I have some tampons. So I put that in this bag. And then I have a bunch of Clorox wipes. A bunch of Clorox wipes. Hand sanitizer. Then I like to take extra Lysol. I like to have some Aleve. And I have like this silk face mask from Slip. For when I want to attempt to get some sleep because I'm not a good sleeper on the plane. Just not a good sleeper on the plane. Um, then I have this Be Immune Throat Spray. And here I have some mints. This has always been my favorite deodorant, but you guys know I haven't been using any deodorant with aluminum in it. Um, Secret Clear Lavender has been my favorite scent for years. Oh, it smells so good and they finally have aluminum free now this is one of my favorites so i'm gonna put that in here and then i also like to have some extra mask in here even though like most places don't require you to wear masks now but i just like to have them in here just in case now for hair hair is going to be a little different this time because i'm packing full-size hair products because we're staying longer now i have to think about how i'm going to do my hair with what outfit because most days i'm just going to have like you know wash and go but with some of the outfits i want to like have the option to slick my hair back or like do a wet look or something do a updo so and then i have to pack shampoo and conditioner if i need to like rewash my hair okay so typically um when i'm packing like hair product i just pack these i usually refill these with whatever is in my hair and i just refresh look what's in here where i tuck these little audible beauty melon berry hair milks i always have a ton of extra scrunchies 
a hair oil. I just have this Anomaly Hair and Scalp Oil. I have my Maya Organics Rosemary Mint scalp oil just in case my scalp gets itchy silk scrunchies i usually put my bonnet in here but i need my bonnet right now so i take a mini detangling brush edge brush and then i always have edge control and the full size products i'm going to be taking they're probably not going to fit in here which is fine because i expected that by the way this is the bag i keep my hair stuff in i'm going to be taking this Audra Beauty Melon Berry Hair Milk and Smoothing Gel. I'm out of a lot of like some of my favorite things. Um, so I have some backup of these. So I'm just going to take this because I already know it works. Another thing, if you're going to be wearing your hair curly wherever you're going, whatever you're packing, make sure it works. So don't be trying to bring stuff that you've never used before or like bring things, especially as far as wash and go. Just make sure you know how it works. And then I'm just going to take my Mayel Pomegranate and Honey oil sculpting custard i'm gonna take that and then the matching mousse and then for shampoo and conditioner i just wanted to get something that wasn't too bulky and big and something that i know will get the job done so i'm just taking my Aveda botanical repair strengthening shampoo strengthening shampoo and then i'm just gonna take this kira's daughter born to repair 60 second moisture treatment so i have an extra bag i'm gonna put my full size products in here make sure this pump is on lock oh it fits Boom. <laughs> Body care. I always bring one of these like loofah sponges. I love these things. Kendra gets these from Amazon. So I'm just going to be taking this um, L'Occitane shower oil body wash, matching body milk. Also like to take my Nivea lotion, some bio oil. And then I just have an extra deodorant in here. I usually have like a mini Dove body wash, but I forgot to get one at Target. So I'm going to have to pick one up. And then these are the two fragrances I'm packing for this trip. This is my Burberry Brit. It smells sugar pears and amazingness. Like this is one of my favorite fall scents. It smells amazing. So put that in here too. And then I'm going to be taking my Mood Mood Ox Mood Ox Mood Ox. I had the travel size in um, a vlog like two vlogs ago. I told y'all I was ordering the full size and this is the scent Punk Star. This smells so good. So this is a black owned fragrance brand. It has my heart. It smells like incense and clean, freshness, sexy, leather, like that kind of vibe. Now my skincare. This is where it gets a little tricky because sometimes um, this is why I don't put my skincare like in my luggage because after I close my luggage, I don't want to have to keep going in there and like getting things out um that's why i like to keep this in my duffel bag morning and night um i just like to have some cleansers also gonna take this cleansing balm i also like to take this follows choice mini skin perfector two percent bha liquid then i like to take my snail mucin I have to have this serums and also i like to take my aroslo this is my retinoid and I also like to have some eye makeup remover in here. And then I just have this morning moisturizer and serum in here. This is the Rope Beauty Barrier Restore Cream and Peptide Glazing Fluid. I always have extra toothpaste, so these are the ones that I have. I just get these from the dentist, and I just always have backups, so I just put them in my travel. I usually have like a backup travel toothbrush, um, so I'm just going to take this. But yeah, like I said, now y'all see why I have to keep this in my duffel bag. Because these are things that I have to like take out and use. And then I like to have a headband. This one is from Aveda. It's nice and soft. And here I just have gauzes. These gauzes. Because I use these to dry my face when I'm out of town. Because I don't like using the hotel towels to dry my face. These are the only things that go in my duffel bag that I actually take with me. So these are my carry-on things. So um, like I told y'all, I always do silk pillowcases, pajamas emergency kit bag um and here i just have passport and chargers and adapter in here headphones ipad skincare sunglasses and then i just have like hand cream and then candle and matches for the hotel so i just keep these things in my duffel just because everything else barely fits in my luggage so yeah <laughs> Take 
Okay, guys, so my suitcase is all packed. On this side, I have all of my clothes underneath this blanket. And then I just have hair care and body care. And on this side, I just have all of my undergarments, socks, extra wipes. So yeah, all in here. And then this side is nice and empty for like dirty ones. And then on this side of my luggage, I just have my makeup, shoes, um, blow dryer, Dyson. And what else is over here? And two more outfits are actually under these shoes because I didn't have enough room on that side because I'm packing so many like jackets and coats that they all won't fit on that side. So I had to put two outfits on this side. I'm gonna wear the same shoes there and back, which are my short Uggs. Those are downstairs. So I'm just gonna wear the same shoes there and back. So it doesn't make sense to pack two different travel shoes in my opinion it just takes up extra space i'm done i don't have to do this in two days which will be the day before our trip so i don't like packing last minute for longer trips i can pack last minute for short trips but longer trips i need a little more time so at least two days before is good enough time for me okay guys so i am in the middle of packing as well i'm not gonna show like as detailed as kelsey did we don't like repetition around here so i'm not gonna bore y'all with me putting everything in my luggage, which I haven't even taken out of the garage yet. But I have separated everything and organized everything the way I want it so far. So I usually put all my hair care and body care in this one thing, but I had to put my products, like everything that I'm gonna be using in my hair in this one. Um, usually hair and body care usually fit in here, but since I'm gonna be wearing my hair up and down on this trip, I need more hair products and I decided to pack some full size products. So this is gonna be going in my lug luggage since I can't take this on the plane, obviously. And this is gonna be, you know, the routine that I use while I'm there, my, uh, my Shell Moisture products. And then this is the edge control that I packed. That's a deep conditioner. There's also some shampoo in here. Got some extra hair ties for when I wear my hair up, which I probably might end up just wearing my hair up probably once, and that's the day of our birthday. So I think I'm just gonna wear it up once, but it just goes better with the look that I'm wearing. Um, also, I usually always keep this shower cap in here. This is my travel shower cap because the shower caps that they usually have at the hotel are too small. Um, sometimes and I also have this for deep conditioner and then this is my bonnet that I sleep in so I'm gonna put that all back in here I love this little zip sticker thing I love keeping like a lot of the PR that we get sometimes they will send us send the products in like the best toiletry bag so I keep all the bags that they send and this one is huge like I said it normally fits body care and hair care for me zip that back up and that's going in my luggage like i said this is all my body care again more like organization it's nice to have separate bags for things i always bring a bag like this when i travel with like many candles in it and some lighters so that's what i like to put this in this is going in my duffel bag so this is going to go on the plane with me because i don't want my luggage to be too heavy because obviously we're packing for colder weather so i'm going to have more heavy things in my luggage so these are the only like toiletry items going in my luggage for the simple fact that there are full size products in both of these. So yeah, but these are going on the plane with me and my duffel. So like I said, these are my travel candles and these are the perfumes that I'm bringing. This is my skincare little baggie. I got this from Target years ago and it's huge. It fits all of my skincare products and like my oral hygiene. So everything I could ever need for my face is in here oh yeah i need to put i need to remember to pack my ipad the night before but i'm still using that and then this is the organized chaos i currently have going on on my bed i have a system trust me so these are my pajamas i'm packing i love silk pajamas on vacation i like to wear these at home too like when it gets colder out but i especially love like a good long sleeve silk pajama set these are all like tops like all the blouses i'm packing like shirts and blazers and stuff like that and then these are all like dresses and stuff so all dresses so that's what all these are and then these are all my jackets and then my airport outfit for on the way back my airport outfit on the way there is currently in my closet so yeah then i got two pairs of jeans a black pair and a regular denim pair. I do have some slacks in this pile, like some other 
slacks a uh, like a beige khaki looking pair and a black pair these are my shoes that i'm gonna be bringing so one pair of combat boots a pair of like heeled leather boots two pairs of heels one pair of sneakers and i'm gonna be traveling with ugg so my ugg minis i think that's what those are called so i'm gonna be wearing those on the plane and this is the duffel that i'm gonna be putting some of my toiletries in and this duffel is from target i really love this duffel super cute and I'm pretty sure they still have it because I recently got it from Target like maybe a month ago. Love it. So that's pretty much the plan for right now. And I'm going to put all my clothes in the luggage and my shoes. And that's pretty much all I'm packing. So I managed to get everything in my luggage. I almost forgot one pair of boots. But it's in there. Everything's in there. And I'm pretty confident I can close everything because this luggage does a really good job at like being able to close like evenly like all the way around. I know some luggages get annoying with that. This is my duffel. I pretty much put everything I need in here except my makeup, which that's the only thing I have left to pack, which I'm probably going to go do now. And that's pretty much it. I can't believe I'm packed this fast, but I think I was already planning in my head what to bring so that it helps when you're proactive. Okay, guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm about to shave my face. And I do this like once or twice a month. So it's been about a month since I did it. And I just use these tinkle disposable razors so i only use it once then i throw it away just because i feel like if you use one more than once you can cross contaminate and it can break you out so this has been working for years for me so i just use it one time and throw it away it does not break me out a lot of people don't understand why some people shave their face but for me personally i find that my products absorb a lot better and my makeup lays on way smoother so yeah, it's game changing for real but i don't recommend using any actives on the day that you shave your face that you decide to shave your face so skip the actives that day actives meaning anything like retinol retinoid lactic acid salicylic acid you just want to moisturize your face you want to hydrate and moisturize after you shave your face so well first i'm going to do a mask after i shave i'm going to do this shawnee darden signature nourishing facial mask calm soothe and replenish so I got this in PR and I've used it a few times and I really, really like it. It's like, it does what it says. It's very calming. So this is like the perfect mask to use post treatment or like post shaving your face because um, my face does turn a little bit red after I shave my face. After I rinse that off, I'm just gonna leave that mask on for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna finish with my snail mucin and my Avan cream. By the way, I'm not naked. I'm wearing a towel. Obviously, just got out of the shower, like I said. So what I like to do, I start on my forehead and then I just pull my like skin taut, meaning like you just want to pull it up. And I like to go down. I like to go down and out, like outward around my whole face. Because uh, I see some people go like up and I feel like you're dragging dead skin into your pores, which can cause you to break out. So I find that it's better if you just go down, especially if you're acne prone. So. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my baby Girl, you amaze me Gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna let this sit for like 20 minutes. So yeah. Okay guys, so it's a couple of days later. I'm about to do my nails because they are looking crusty and dusty. I've had this color on. I had this color on for about like two and a half, almost three weeks. I really like this color, but I'm gonna put this back on, this color back on like when we come back from our trip. Cause I want this color on for Thanksgiving, but right now I want to do something a little different for my birthday. Some cute birthday nails. I'm going to show you guys the inspo. Can you tell those are chrome? Like these. So that's the inspo. So I want to do like a pearl type nail. Now if I wrote you a love note And made you smile at every word I wrote Would that make you
Spot my love. 